Yo, what's cracking everyone? It's your man, Mr. Fomer Simpson. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe so you don't miss anything. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson and on Snapchat at It's Phony. Now, you know it wouldn't be right if I didn't do a top 10 video. Last year, I did a top 13 of 2013. I thought about doing a top 14 this year, but nah, that's too big of a roster. I'm rocking with 10. Keep in mind, these are only shoes that I copped this year. For instance, the beige Tishy Air Force Mids would easily be in my top five, but I wasn't able to get them, so they aren't. You get the point. Anyway, not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Number 10. I think these were executed really well. Quality is on point. Ostrich leather. Probably the nicest Asics of the year. Now, I am partial to Gel Light 3s. I really like that silhouette. The Brazils and a couple other Ronnies are probably right there also. But I think Soulfly did a great job with these. Number 9. Concepts has done so much dope work. The New Balance Rosé they just did are bananas. But I actually like these Pump Furies even more. You either hate them or love them. I love them. Such a unique look. They absolutely bodied these. Number eight. This shoe is amazing. If you haven't seen the Dare to Air video I did, click right here and you will know exactly how I feel about these. Number seven. You can't get any more classic than this. Andre Agassi, two top buttons undone, hairy chest, illust mullet in tennis. These joints are definitely Cracky Balboa. Number six, where do I even start? I had a pair of Columbias from 01 and my dog chewed the shit out of them, completely mangled them. I know this is the legend blue, but I've been waiting for this sneaker for years. Number five, both of these turned out ill. Very nice, very nice. The white pair is the better of the two, but I like them both a lot. Number four, these are off the meat rack. It's been cool to see Air Force Ones making a little comeback, and these are definitely leading the charge. Such a simple shoe, but crazy fresh nonetheless. I don't think there's a better sneaker silhouette for a wheat colorway than these right here. Number three, without a doubt, my favorite New Balance to release this year, and I don't even think it's close. Beautiful sneaker, quality is nuts. New York City theme with a burgundy colorway, just sick. Number two, this is the best basketball sneaker on the market performance wise. Straight up, these are that ill. Great off court as well. I absolutely love the 29. Numero uno, as you may or may not know, I am a huge Yankees fan and Derek Jeter is my favorite athlete of all time. I also love the Jordan one, so these are basically God level. And that is my top 10. If you ask me next week, it might be a different list, but today, this is my list. And you may hate some of the shoes I picked. You might love some of them. That's the beauty of sneakers. We don't all have to like the same shit. Buy what you like. Thank you for watching though. And let me also say thank you to everyone who rocked with the kid in 2014. I do appreciate you. Not too much else to talk about though. So until next time, Mr. Fomer Simpson, out.